What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this video we're gonna talk about the community tab that YouTube has introduced I think around 2017 and a lot of people have you know a lot of questions about it. Also the requirements have changed quite a bit. In this video we're gonna talk about how to get the community tab and everything like that. So if you guys are excited make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new and I would say let's get started right after the intro. So at the end of 2017, YouTube has replaced, uh, let me think which tab it was. I think it was like the discussions tab at the end of 2017 and YouTube put in the community tab right there where you can post questions, GIFs, images, polls to your subscriber sub box on their phone and recently also on their desktop. Now, time I made that video, the requirements were pretty simple. The minimum requirement you needed for when it comes to subscribers was 10,000 and I don't really think you had to be YouTube to partner or anything like that. So earlier today when I was looking for a topic for today's video, I was browsing through the comments about what people wanted to see and then I just kept getting notifications on the community post video like, oh, but you, YouTube says you need 10,000 subscribers, but I know somebody with 25 subscribers and they have the tab what's going on. Okay, so let me clarify. At the end of 2017, YouTube said, all right, everybody with at least 10,000 subscribers will get this tab and everybody underneath it. It is just a test phase, obviously. Throughout the years, YouTube has lowered that threshold from 10,000 subscribers to only 1,000 subscribers. And now you may be wondering, Alex, and nobody that's even under 1,000 then they have it. Well, I think YouTube is not really picking the channels that specifically who are getting the tab. So if you know somebody that has maybe 120 subscribers, they have the tab that's probably because YouTube is like testing you know different features on different channels and obviously they get to also keep that feature okay so if you're wondering like okay I have even more than 10,000 subscribers and I don't even have the tab how are people with less than a thousand are having it and I'm not well let's just go to the page right now about the community tab and let's read a little bit more about what's going on and how you can actually be eligible for this feature okay so I'm taking the most recent article and somebody said it will take up to to one week to see the community tab after passing a thousand subscribers. If your channel is eligible for community posts but you don't see the community tab, you'll need to enable the custom channel layout. It might be the case that you're eligible and that you can have the tab but you also need to, obviously right here it says enable the custom channel layout. Because the custom channel layout needs to be enabled in order for the community tab to be shown. All right, so this is basically what I want you guys to do. If you're asking me, Alex, I am eligible, I even I have over a thousand subscribers subscribers but the community tab is not there right now what I want you to do is open up another tab in your browser so you don't lose this video then you're gonna go through the same restrictions that are coming up following we're gonna enable the custom layout right now okay guys so right now we're on my YouTube channel and the thing you want to do in order to activate the tabs because I already have it for like years so it's obvious that it's right here but if you don't have this one yet what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this little wheel icon and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that customize the layout of your channel has been checked so then we're gonna click on save and then it's gonna jump to that new layout it says join customized channel YouTube studio so this is basically the new layout and obviously right here the community tab will appear and if it's not the case make sure to let me know down in the comments and I'll check for a solution you should be good to go when you actually go ahead and customize your channel and obviously there is no like manual button to turn on the community tab it should be automatically be there if you're eligible and if you have over a thousand subscribers and if you don't have over a thousand subscribers the community tab may pop up on your channel because that's what YouTube actually said like they're just beta testing it so this is how to activate it and guys by the way if you're looking for music to use in your videos because let's say that you're tired of using NCS over the past couple of years there is a really really cool website that I've teamed up with to let you guys explore new music of all different genres so check this out are you a content creator looking for music to bring your videos to a whole new level Soundscape is the resource for music from all different genres such as country, electronic, folk, hip-hop, jazz, blues, rock, and much more. On top of that, you can directly drag the MP3 downloads into your project no matter which editing software you use. You guys can even get 25% off using the code Halford through the link down below. 
Alright guys, so I hope this video was helpful to you. Now if you have any more questions about any other features on YouTube, for example the YouTube stories and how to get that feature as well, make sure to drop them in the comments down below. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep yourself safe with, you know, during this whole thing. I'm gonna censor the word, you know, because of like, I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna be able to pay my rent if you guys know what I'm trying to say. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys in a brand new video, obviously tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in my next video.